Shannon with Our Piece of Earth, and today we're going to talk about a science program. So this is Journey Homeschool Academy. So I'm going to click through here before I tell you too much and just get you to our course access. So here is where you'll be able to see the different courses that are available, and the one that is colored in is the one that we have. So we're going to be talking about Experience Astronomy Elementary. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. So with your purchase, what you get is lifetime access to the course, and it is designed to be used for one lesson a week. Um, so I'm going to just show you a little bit. So before you start, you're going to want to go here to the welcome page, and you're going to just want to watch this quick video that introduces you to the course and how they go about teaching it and any other information you need to know. You can also scroll down and you can see a whole bunch more information. So I'm just going to click through here to a lesson. Um, let's go down here. Let's check out more stories in the sky. So above it, you're just going to see a short little blurb about what we're going to talk about for that week. And then you're going to see a video. Each video is 15 to 20 minutes long. So this one's 18 minutes. So you're going to watch the video and you can mark the video complete and click next, but I'm just actually going to go, what week did I go to? Nine. So I'm going to go down here. So once you watch the video, there's also going to be a shorter video. So this, I'm just going to press play a little bit and I might skip through part of it just to give you an idea. Begins with the same letter as the constellation in the zodiac. Any, Aries, Time, Taurus, Granny, Gemini, Covets, Cancer, Leo, Leo, Vegan, Virgo, Lunch, Libra, She, Scorpius, Should, Sagittarius, Cut, Capricornus, A, Aquarius. Okay, so what he's doing is he's kind of talking about what they learned in the course for that week. Um, just reiterating some of the really important points that he wants you to be able to memorize. And so along with memorizing these, um, I'm just going to scroll down here and show you the extra material. So that video there is just like three-ish minutes long. It's really short, just touching on the key points that you want to work with your children on memorizing. So then you're going to click on extra material. And so this, I'm going to just click this supplement here. Okay, so I'm just going to scroll through it so you can get an idea of what it looks like. So it's a PDF download, and if you don't like to download and print a bunch of stuff, you can also purchase these in a book. Um, so it's going to give you some recommended reading. This one has more than some of the other ones I've looked through, which is kind of fun. And then you're going to have an activity. And you guys, these activities are so much fun. Like week one, you make a shoebox planetarium, and you can change it out for different constellations. And my kids had so much fun doing this, and somehow I have zero pictures to show you because we were having a blast with it. Um, but every week, it's a different type of activity, and they're so much fun. Your kids will have a blast. You will probably have a blast doing it with them. So I'm just going to scroll through here quick and give you an idea of the rest of them, um, the things that come in this PDF download. Um, so there is a handwriting with print and cursive pages for your children to work on. And it's um, a sentence or two about what you are learning or something related to that week's lesson. And so then here you're going to see these little print cards. So these are part of the memory thing. So you can order all of these cards separately, printed, they will come to you um, or you can print them out and cut them out and just like use them as flashcards with your children. What are the 12 constellations of the zodiac? So each week there's a different um, amount of them. And then at the end of that week's lesson, you're going to have a short quiz to see how much your children are really learning. So I'm going to go back over here now. Um, so it really is that simple to do that week's lesson. Um, so the downloadable stuff has book list, hands-on activity, memory work, copy work, and quizzes. So I um, am going to share some pictures here in just a minute too of the stuff that we've done and just show you what it looks like. I'll print it out. You guys, this is really great, especially if you're looking for a Bible-based 
science course, this is really, really awesome. It's so little work for the parent to do. You just need to make sure you have the materials for that day's lesson. Um, so we are using it as a weekly program and if you use it once a week, it is going to take you through an entire school year. Um, after I show you the stuff that I have printed out, I'm just going to tell you a little bit more about how we've been using it. So I will be back in just a second. Hey guys, I'm back. So I'm just going to show you the printed out versions and talk to you a little more about um, what we thought and how we were able to use this. So I'm just going to show you um, lesson one. So this is what lesson one looked like why God loves astronomy. And so you can see here the recommended reading and the activity. So this activity was so much fun. Um, so here's what the, sorry, the handwriting pages look like. There's a blank one. So, and then another blank one, sorry. And then here's the quiz at the end and then feel like I lost them. Here are the little cards for the lesson once you have printed them out. So you can just talk about them and practice going over them. So that was our first week and then I'm just going to show you our second week real quick because I know I have this stuff all handy. Um, so again the recommended reading and our activity this time was to go draw the sun at different times of day which was super fun. So here is my son's picture and he hates drawing so for him to have gone out and done that was really awesome to me. Um, okay, so, and like at the end, I'm able to just print out the quiz for, for both of my older kids to fill out on their own. So when we have been doing this, so as I said in the earlier part of the video, it is designed to be done one week per lesson. Um, and so you can kind of break that up however you want. And I let my kids have a little bit of say in what we're doing, um, depending on what our week looks like. So. We will watch that video together um, and take the time to sit and talk about what we've learned or what else is going on and watch that memory video after we finish talking about it to see if we are remembering a lot of the stuff that he his goal is for them to remember. Um, so with the handwriting pages, I have three kids. So um, my oldest wanted to learn cursive, so she has been doing that and then my eight-year-old is doing the print one and my youngest one will take some time and trace some of the letters he's five um, but it's just nice we can all sit down and do that together and then we can use these little flashcards to practice um, just keep them out sometimes and randomly talk about them through the day um, and with a quiz whenever we've finished going over all of this stuff and done the activity with that lesson we will do the quiz um, just to see sometimes it takes us a few days sometimes we do it all in one day um, and I love that this gives them the opportunity when they're really excited about something they've learned to pick a book because we have, especially for astronomy, we have a million books about that um, for us to pull out and dig a little deeper and um, just feed off of their excitement for what we're learning about. So that is how we've been using it. And I mean, it feels like a very laid back approach to science. It's super fun and interesting and exciting and keeps all the kids interested in it. Um, I love that it also gives them Bible verses to memorize that go along with that lesson that we're learning. So they're not totally unrelated. They have something to do with um, what we're talking about that week, which I think is fantastic um, for any number of reasons. Um, so aside from that, um, I'm going to drop some links in the comments so that you can check this program out. If astronomy isn't your jam, there's biology, there's, I forget what the other ones were, but you guys check them out. Um, I'm also going to leave a link so you can see what some bloggers have said about the other options that Journey Homeschool Academy offers as far as the classes. So hit me up with your questions and I'll be back soon to talk to you guys some more. All right. Have a great day.